Hey guys, welcome back. Ed here, uh, Models and Beer. Well, guys, we have the four mast complete for the Arizona. Um, I got the chains done for the anchors, and I got the anchors installed. I did not film the uh, putting the chains together and the anchors. I just took pictures at the end of this video and included them. There really wasn't much to see for that. I just cut the chains to length and. Um, glued them in place basically and the anchors the same way so um the foremast i in this video here i didn't build the com or didn't film the complete build as i did the aft mast uh, basically because they were pretty much the same other than a few little pieces of photo etch difference so i didn't want to make this video long to show to kind of repeat the same video that the aft tower was um being built. So what I did is I just basically constructed all the plastic and I did a little film, you know, showing that. I put the photo etch on. I did another little film showing that. Not showing putting it together, but the aftermath. And then the painting and um, then I installed it onto the ship. And from there, it's just photographs of the, of the completed ship. Um, guys, the only thing I really have left to do on the Arizona now is some railings, a lot of railings, and rigging. I'm not looking forward to the rigging. There's looks like many hours of rigging involved with this. So um, I will have that coming up. But for the most part, the Arizona is built almost a year later. Um, came out really nice. I did a video at the end kind of scanning you know, the completed ship other than the, like I said, the railing and the, and the rigging. I'll save that for a whole nother video. So without much ado, guys, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So the tower starts on page 26 and pretty simple assembly guys, not a whole lot to it. Um, I went ahead and just threw all this together. Like I said, it's nothing I really needed to do on camera. It's, it's pretty basic stuff. And let me show you what I got here. I have not done any of the photo etch work yet. It's just all the all the plastic here. And I got the top here. And I am not going to put that on yet. That's going to be going on to here like, like so. Um, the reason for that is I am going to prime and paint this prior to putting this on to here for the simple reason of the windows. I am going to insert uh, plastic on the inside here to replicate the windows. I was going to use my tester's uh, window maker and this is good stuff. It does work well. The only reason I'm not going to be using it and I um, tell you the last tower that I just built on the Arizona that um, you find it a video or two back in my library. Um, I had primed and painted the blue and then I used the window maker to come in and you know, inject the, the window maker fluid into here. And what ended up happening is whatever got outside the window that, you know, didn't make it into the hole, it left a, a really shiny spot onto the blue paint, which made me have to come back with a brush and clean up, you know, so I was ended up doing twice the work. So this time I'm going to prime and paint and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut some um, plastics, you know, um, clear plastic and I'm going to insert it to the back here. And then once that's done, I'm going to, I can go ahead and mount it to the, onto the tower. So, but everything here is, is done. I've got the guns mounted. I got the ammo lockers in here that you can see those are blue. I painted those previously on another step. They were in a sprue that I was using, so they ended up getting some of the blue paint on there. But that's okay, because I'm going to get it primed and, and repainted. And we got all the beams underneath. And 
the ladders guys I went with the um, kit provided ladders again um, as I did on the previous tower uh, just to keep things uniform so these are the kit included ladders and I got the bell going here so now we have to install the photo etch so I got some photo etch that's going to be going on to here and I got some photo etch that goes on to here this is the top to this oops something like that and I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm going to be inserting the clear plastic strip on the inside of here so I am not gluing this down onto here until I get this prime painted and then the plastic inserted and then I'm going to put this all together and then that of course will go on you know on top of our tower here so we got some railings that we need to put in here um, over here on this piece here which is right here oops it's this piece here it has us putting in kit provided photo etch uh, piece PE8 PE10 and PE9 guys that is nothing more than a little bit of detail that goes on the side of these of this deck here and we are not going to be using that I have uh, Edwards photo etch that we're going to be putting on here and it replicates the same um, oh the same um, yeah detail that the photo etch the kit provided has um, other than um, the Edwards has railing that's included with that detailed strip so we're going to be using the Edwards because it has the railing in, included in that so we will not be using the photo etch uh, the kit provided photo etch and we did the same thing on the previous tower again if you go back to my uh, video of the of the other tower it was um, one two or three Arizona videos back I'm not sure exactly where but we did the same thing there so that's where we're at now guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put all the photo etch together onto these pieces and then I'll bring you back and show you what we got be right back and BAM through the miracle of time guys we are back we have photo etch all installed um, everything is complete as far as the construction and photo etch for the four tower and now we're down to applying windows prime and paint and then we're going to mount this onto its home on the ship and we will call that part done um, this is the last main um, parts of the of the ship other than railings or oh, no no we got the anchors and chains coming up but this is the the end of the major part of the structure and, and things like that that's what I should say so let's get into this guys let me just show you what we got um, here's our photo etch basically all this is is some railings that we put on um, I'll just kind of spin it around so you can kind of see everything here's the back side and the Edwards photo etch kit it, it's it's in my opinion well worth the cost um, I don't remember what I paid for it it might have been 35 40 dollars I believe but that included you know um, a lot of really good detail so there's that and that's all we have for photo etch onto this part here Very cool and that detail is really going to stand out when we get everything painted now check this guy out let me put this one aside for safekeeping check this guy out believe it or not this photo etch pieces here these railings are kit provided uh, very very nice trumpeter they um, are very nice and those really hold some incredible detail I hope that's showing up um, very cool very cool I'm really happy with that and again guys there's no windows put in here yet what I'm gonna do is prime and paint after it's painted I am going to get some clear styrene some plastic 
and I'm going to put it, glue it to the inside here to replicate the windows as opposed to the tester's window maker. Um, and that should come out really, really nice. I'm really happy with that uh, photo etch on there. That's going to look killer. Check that out. And then we got the, the hat to that here. And let me see if we can get this to come in. We got some railing on that. And a couple of beams. There we go. And that is going to set on top of here as so. After we get it all primed and painted. Yeah, that's going to look really, really nice. And then, of course, this is going to go on to here on its final assembly. And then it's going to get mounted to its home on the ship. So, very nice, very nice. And our paint scheme here is everything from this lower deck up is going to be painted in a flat white, um, just as the aft tower was. And then everything below this deck is going to get the, the ship blue. So, and then there's our bell here. And that's gonna, I'm gonna paint that, I think, a gold. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get this into prime and paint. And I guess I'll just go ahead and do final assembly and I'll show you the completed um, structure in a few moments. Be right back. And there we have it, guys. We have a completed tower. Um, let's just run over this really quick. All I did was assemble and paint. Um, let's see if we can get it in here. You can kind of see the windows in there. I went ahead and wrapped the plastic behind the, the windows. Here's the front. Top. Yeah, it came out nice. And there's our bell. I went ahead and give me a pointer here. Got our little string so they can ring the bell. I painted the guns a gunmetal gray. Well, let me unfocus here. There we go. There we go. I did those in a gunmetal gray and then the base is done in a flat black. And like I had said in the previous video, we got everything in a flat white and then everything down below this deck was done in the in the ship blue. So there we have it. And I think these masks here are going to be mainly for the rigging. It's going to be holding quite a bit of rigging as is this on the top here. And it kind of looks like with the length of these beams here that there should be some kind of support maybe some kind of um, rope or something that or you know would help support that in real life but I don't see anything as far as pictures and stuff go so maybe not I'll look into that a little further so okay guys let me get the ship over here let's go ahead and get it mounted into its home And I will be right back. <laughs> 